Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Mishawaka Marion High School for this sectional action here on RTC TV. Tonight's uh, sectional action includes the Rochester Zebras taking on the St. Joe, uh, South Bend St. Joseph Indians. Uh, in sectional action tonight, the Zebras come in at 27 and 6. Uh, St. Joe coming in at 8 and 6. As uh, we get ready here to go tonight, they're introducing the start or the entire roster lineup. We'll go through the lineup, the starting lineups first for the Zebras. Normal lineups for the Zebras as they, uh, they bring the varsity staff here. Uh, Coach Katie Felke uh, going with her normal starters. Number three, Libby Good. Uh, be number seven, Bailey Abbott. Number eight, Maddie Sailors. Number 10, Grace Pfeiffer. Number 13, Hannah Town. And number 14, Riley Pfeiffer, the starting lineup for the Zebras. Again, uh, Coach Katie Felke. Uh, very, very excited about tonight's matchup, and, and uh, hopefully they can get through this. Ranked numbers, uh, some polls have them six, some have them eight. Uh, so the Zebras are ranked. Looking forward to hopefully getting into the championship match on Saturday against number one, Mishawaka Marion, who has coasted through this thing so far. They beat Jimtown on a Monday night, 3-0. Uh, they beat Glenn here earlier tonight, 3-0 as well. The, first, the second game on Tuesday night, Glenn defeated uh, Culver Academy's 3-0, so they got to uh, advance to tonight's game. So uh, previously here, it was Mishawaka Marion defeating Glenn again, 3-0 in the sets. For South Bend and St. Joseph, their starting lineups, and I'm going to apologize right off the bat for the names in case any of you uh, have family or friends. I apologize as uh, I will probably not pronounce some of these correctly. But starting for South Bend St. Joe will be number six, Nicole Lukens. Number 10, Callie Topolsky. Number 13, Abby Mayberry. Number 14, Mackenzie Charpley. And number 15, Mary Madden. And number five, Madeline Kostosny. So again, I apologize. Uh, South Bend St. Joe is coached by Mary Kay O'Connell. So uh, as they finish up again, the uh, starting lineups here for South Bend St. Joe will be underway here just momentarily again. Uh, Randy went along with you tonight for this uh, uh, semi-championship game. Again, a championship game coming your way Saturday at noon here at Mishawaka Marion High School. So as we get ready to go, I... Uh, First time trip up here for South for Mishawaka Marion up to for the volleyball as once we moved into 3A. So Zebra's looking forward to uh, advancing again to Saturday. Again, Rochester comes in 27 and 6. St. Joe 8 and 6. Rochester is 12 and 6 on the neutral sites. And uh, South Bend St. Joe is 3 and 3 on neutral sites. So Zebra's coming off a big uh, big invitational win last weekend to end the regular season. So they're uh, excited and looking forward for sectionals. Zebras uh, in their gr uh, black and gray with uh, gold letters. Mishawak, or South Bend St. Joe, excuse me, in the uh, black with blue. So we'll get ready here to start game number one of uh, best of five. Zebras, again, will, uh, it's like the Zebras will have serve first. So Riley Pfeiffer will be serving first for the Rochester Zebras. As Mer St. Joe now will come out, set their lineup. Also uh, in the lineup, the Zebras will go with the Librero, and that'll be number five, uh, Dalton. Jessica Dalton. And uh, South Bend St. Joe will go with number one and Leanne Godzi, Goodzi, as their Librero. So uh, again, Rochester will serve first as Dalton comes in the back row. So Zebra's starting the sectional here. In game number one, Pfeiffer, Riley Pfeiffer, serving first. Again, Riley and Grace uh, getting to play. Grace, a freshman in, Riley a senior, so getting to play together one year here. Always exciting for the family. First serves in, and St. Joe into the net. So the Zebras start out with the first point of the contest. Zebra's talking it up, telling out where the hitters are. Riley with another floating serve. Again to the outside hitter, and she gets that one down. As McKinney Turpley gets it down. Substitution coming in, Mallory Pekowski 
will come in. Serving now for St. Joe will be number 10, Callie Toposki. Little jump serve, just gets over the net. Nice dig, got time by Dalton, set up for Town. Towns hit is dug. It'll be good try to dig that hit out of the, uh, the way by Sharpowski, but not able to get it. And it's 2 1 Knights. Coach O'Connell calling the serves. Excuse me, her assistant calling the serves on the bench. Dalton sets it up. Riley with a free ball across the net. St. Joe sets up again. The outside hitter. And Chapolsky, she's on fire. They're going to have to get some blockers in over there on her. Knights up 3-1. Now Coach Felke directing the blocks. Done moving in a little bit. Again, the jump serve that time into the net. Zebras get the point, 3-2. Now that Grace Pfeiffer will serve. For Mishawaka Marion, sectional action here. And Grace goes long out. Oh, it'll be side out back to St. Joe. Shrapley will serve. At least she's out of the front row for now. Set up Riley in the back row. That's it. It's a good save that time by St. Joe, but right through the hands of Goodsey. And now it'll be side out Zebras and Bailey Abbott back to serve. One of the two seniors on the team. Bailey gets an ace. Nice serve that time by Bailey Abbott. Again, Riley and Bailey, the alone two seniors here on this Zebra squad. Bailey, the left-handed serve. St. Joe has problems with it. They free ball it across. There's Town down, and that's a kill. That was with authority when she came down on that one. Hannah Town with a big kill that time. And the Zebras up 5-4. Game number one here, best of five. Riley with a good dig but can't uh, control it, and it goes out of bounds, and it'll be side out to St. Joe. Substitution for St. Joe, Pip. Pip will go back to serve. For the Indians, not at five. Big serve there, dug out. Hannah Town with another kill. Off the hands of Topelski. And another substitution. St. Joe likes to sub a lot. And Mayberry comes in, and then the libero comes in right after that, and goods it. Hannah Town back now to serve. Hannah, nice little floater. St. Joe on the outside, and comes down the line. Jessica Dalton not able to get there. It'll be side out, back to St. Joe. And back to Madeline Kostlautny to serve. Hard serve right at Riley. Hannah with the save, and Hannah free. Gives him a free ball back across to St. Joe. St. Joe hits it out of bounds. So it's back to side out, Zebras. Libby Good now to serve for Rochester. Leading seven to six. Big serve by Libby. Handled well by St. Joe. Now the back row. And again, sharp, sharply yeah, hits that one a little too hard and out of bounds, almost out the door. Libby, she serves that one deep. Libby Good goes long. It'll go back out of side out to the Indians. Serving for St. Joe now, Nicole Lukens. Jump serve, she goes cross, handled by Town. Riley's block, a good save that time by Maddie Sailors. Riley saves it again, and the Zebras try to get it across and cannot. But a nice effort all the way around by the Lady Zebras. Not giving up until it was out of bounds. Or not at an eight. Another cross court jump serve. 
Riley gets it across. They set up. Trapowski and she pushes it deep, but Zebra's not able to handle it. So Luca's back to serve again. We are in game number one. Set for Riley. Riley just pushes it over the top of the block. And it'll be side out Zebras. Sailors comes out and uh, Bailey Abbott back in. And Jessica Dalton will step back to serve for the Zebras. Sectional action here at Mishawaka Marion High School. Winner of this will move on to the championship game Saturday afternoon at noon. As Jessica Galton goes long, it'll be side back out to St. Joe. Libero, Goodsey, will serve. Short serve, handled by Abbott. Set up to Riley Piper, and Riley gets a kill. Zebra's been all the way around the rotation. We're back to Riley Piper serving. Riley, little floater in the middle. Set back up by Trapowski and blocked that time. That's what the Zebras needed as sharply. That was where she liked to be earlier in the contest. The Zebras blocked at that time and got the point. Good job. Good adjustment that time by the front line. Set up. This time in the middle. Swing and a miss by Abby Mayberry. So another point for the Zebras. Maybe that was a little spark the Zebras needed, that nice little block. Floating serve in the middle. Now here sharply again. Blocked again. Blocked again that time by Libby Good, Bailey Abbott, Hannah Town, all three over in there. Good job that time by the Zebras. We'll go with a hitter out of the back row behind the 10 foot line. Here comes Riley out of the back row. Dug that time by Goodsey. Sets up sharply and sharply changes her angle that time. Goes right down the line as he was not able to get it. It'll go side out to St. Joe. Pinkowski coming into the ball, ball game for St. Joe. Serving will be Topolsky. She serves it to town. Nice set by Grace. Riley tries the back row hit into the net. So another point for St. Joe. Rainy win here on RTC TV. Thanks for joining us. Sectional action. Again, the winner of this one gets Marion in the championship game. Zebras would love for that to happen. Set up to St. Joe. Comes from the opposite side this time, and Panowski, Pikowski with a big hit on a cross court hit. We're knotted at 13. Mishawaka Marion High School. Panowski this time. Or excuse me, that was uh, Tavolsky with the serve. Sebras with a nice dig. There's another block that time. Zebra's making the adjustment. Panowski got blocked by Hannah Town. And Grace Pfeiffer will go back to serve. Grace with a good serve this time. Blocked on the far side sharply. Back to St. Joe. Little tip for the Zebras. Trying to save it, and they do. Nice work by the Zebras that time. Grace Pfeiffer and Hannah Town saving the ball. Sharply down the line, and Pfeiffer can't handle it. It'll be side out to St. Joe. Sharply back to serve now. 5'9", junior. So she's going to be around another year for St. Joe. Nice little hitter. Dalton with the pass to Grace. Dug out, and that's side right down the line, and That'll put the Knights back up now. Fifteen, fourteen. Sharply again. That time is out of bounds. Just out of bounds. 
I just saw some chalk fly on that one. That was close with the official there. Tie back up 15 and Bailey Abbott to serve for the Zebras. To Godsey, her set tipped around there by St. Joe and back by Maddie Sailors. Grace with the set up to Sailors. Maddie tried to go over the block, but too far over the block. It goes out of bounds, too deep. And a substitution for St. Joe now in Pip. Pip will be back to serve for St. Joe. As Abbott comes out for Rochester and Jessica Dalton comes in. Dalton with the pass. Here's the set to Hannah Town and just misses out of bounds. Nice hard hit that time, but just out of bounds. And the Knights are up two now. Again, in case you forget about volleyball, you haven't watched it in a while, it does go to 25. First four games of 25. And there's a nice hit by Hannah Town. <coughs> Town will go back to serve, but before that, Mayberry will come in the contest and uh, come right back out as Good Goodsey will come in and the Libero. So Town now to serve. Hannah goes cross court. The Shawaka, or excuse me, South Bend St. Joe sets it up, gets it across. Here's Riley Pfeiffer with a good kill. Pfeiffer gets another kill on the night and knocks this thing back up. Again, town serving for the Zebras. The 27 and 6 Zebras take on 8 and 6 St. Joe. Blocked. Nice block by Sailors and Pfeiffer. There they go over the block that time, and Libby Good not able to handle it. It'll be a point for St. Joe. And number five, because Tinley will come in and serve. Line drive to Dalton. Pfeiffer again trying it. Her shot was blocked. And that time, St. Joe tried to go down the line, and Topolsky pushed it down the line, but it never got over the net, so it'll be side out Zebras. Back and forth, nobody able to get a good advantage right now. Two point is the biggest lead, and that was by St. Joe. There's Madden into the net. And we've got a timeout. South Bend St. Joe wants a timeout. 1918 Zebras lead timeout here on RTC TV. After the St. Joe timeout, is, uh, Zebras will still be serving. And I think uh, South Bend's coach, Mary Kay O'Connell, thought maybe things were starting to uh, possibly get away here as we get closer to 25. She wanted to settle things down and talk to her squad. So we're up 19-18 now as he was serving. Here's Libby Good. Nice little floating serve in the middle, hand by Goodsey. Set up. That was number six, Lukens. Lukens with it down the line. And Lukens now will go back to serve. 19 all. Game one here at the sectional semifinals. Lukens cross court serve. Dug by Town, set by Grace Pfeiffer, down by Riley Pfeiffer. And it's good. Right down the line, nice hit by Gray, uh, Riley. Maddie Sailors comes out, Jessica Dalton comes in, she'll serve for the Zebras. Dalton, not good serve. Here's Sharpley, nice dig that time by Good, or by, excuse me, by Dalton. And tipped over by the Lady Zebras, and they can't handle it. St. Joe can't handle that, and the Zebras are up two now. Nice work by the Zebras in the block and the tip. Maintaining control. Jessica up in the middle. Had to adjust that time. Nice hit by Madden. Back row hit by Town, and she hollered out. And nice work by the Zebras. Looking for the set, and Grace just tips it over. And the Zebras are up three now. Three more points for the victory. 
22-19. Jessica with a good serve. Setting up sharply, sharply with a hard hit, but too far out of bounds. Zebras up 23-19. St. Joe will take their final time out of this game. Again, 23-19. We'll be back with the final two points here after this on RTC TV. So after St. Joe's final timeout, we're back. Dalton back to serve. Looking for a final two points here in this contest. Zebras with the biggest lead of the night. Sharply down the line, it's out. Game point for the Zebras. Jessica Dalton to serve. Zebras up 24-19. Nice serve to Dalton, looking at Ulla from the tip, and they get it by Topolsky. Nice little tip over the net, keeping St. Joe alive. Back to serve now is Goodsey. 24-20, Zebras up. Goodsey to Dalton. This is Riley Piper for the game point, blocked out of bounds, point Zebras, and they get game number one. Goes to Rochester. 25-20, five points ended up being the biggest lead of that first game, and the Zebras got it at the night as the uh, Indians was up, or Rochester was up 24-19 when St. Joe called that second time out, and a nice job that time by the Zebras staying focused and making the adjustments. Again, you got to watch out uh, for Sharpley and for Topowski on those uh, tip over the nets. But the Zebras making the good adjustments and getting the first game again 25 to 20. As again, the winner of this one will get Mishawaka Marion at Saturday's championship game at noon. Yes, it's a little different time, but uh, we're going at noon. Championship game will be at noon on Saturday here at Mishawaka Marion High School. So, uh, between games, we get a three-minute timeout here, so we'll be back with game number two after this. You're watching RTC TV. Here we go. We're getting ready for game number two. Uh, again, the Zebras lead one to nothing as they want game one, 25-20. So we switch sides in Mishawaka, or excuse me, South Bend St. Joe will serve first. I keep saying Mishawaka Mary, and they're sitting right here in front of me. St. Joe will serve first. And serving first for South Bend St. Joe will be Topolsky. She will serve. As we uh, get the uh, scoreboard reset. There we go, game number two. I think we're about ready now. All right, here we go. Game number two. Zebra's up 1-0. Topolsky to serve. In the jump serve. Just over the net. Dug by Riley Pfeiffer. Dalton back to Pfeiffer. Across the net. St. Joe will go with the right-hand hitter in Panowski. Hannah Town just tips it over the net. Here's Sharpley coming across. And a nice job by the Zebras to adjust. Grace Pfeiffer with a tip and two hits. And the Zebras get the first point of game number two. So Pfeiffer will go back to serve for Rochester. Riley serves out of the middle. And a nice little flutter right up the top. Trouble for St. Joe and a block by Town. Stuff blocked by Hannah Town and another point to the Zebras. Another serve handled by Godsey. She sets up sharply and they're going to call two hits on Godsey. So the Zebras on a roll now 3-0. Godsey can't handle that one, has trouble. St. Joe looking to get across, and they just do. Here's Town, blocked. And Town hits into the double block. Nobody's there to cover for the Zebras. 
And it'll be side out, St. Joe. Serving sharply for St. Joe. Jump serve just over the net. Pfeiffer handles it. Here's Town. Town with an attempt. Town flips it over the top and catches St. Joe off guard. But a nice work by Sharpley that time to save it. Pfeiffer to Town. That's good. And a Town with another kill. And Grace Pfeiffer now back to serve. Pfeiffer with a little floater. Coming left side this time to Lukens. And Lukens hits into the block, but the zebra block goes out of bounds. So we side out to South Bend. St. Joe. Vogler will come in. Vogler seeing her first appearance in the contest. So we're in game number two, so Vogler to serve. Jump serve into the back row. Riley Pfeiffer can't handle it. As the Zebras make the adjustments, here's Vogler again on her serve. And a town, up and over. Set up to Lukens, Lukens. It is set back over and point side out Zebras. Substitution, Mulberry back in. And she comes right out as the libero come in and Godzi. Serving for Rochester will be, again, one of the two seniors in Bailey Abbott. Abbott's left-handed serve. Here's Lukens. Lukens finds the hole in the defense. Excuse me, not Lukens. That was, yeah, that was Lukens. Lukens finds a hole in the defense. And it'll be side out to South Bend St. Joe. 5-4, Zebra's up. Again, Zebra's uh, the guest on the scoreboard. Zebra's can't handle that one, and uh, we're tied at five. Kuslini serving for uh, St. Joe. That one just over the net. Dalton gets it. Town saves it. And Jessica Dalton will free ball across the, the net. Lucan sets up. Her shot's blocked by Sailors. And we'll push it across. Zebra's looking to set it up. Here's Pfeiffer out of the back row. Sharply with the dig. And right down was Madden. Mary Madden. With a hit right in the middle of the Zebra defense, nobody was there. So the Knights take the lead for the first time in game two. The serve to Dalton. Sailor sets it up. And Town will just push it across. There's Lukens. Lukens to Dalton. Grace Pfeiffer sets up Riley out of the back row. She just hits it just across. Dug out by St. Joe. Lucas again, nice save by Riley. Grace to Dalton. She gets it across. Here's Lucas again. Lucas that time makes the Zebras pay for the uh, two or three free balls. They kept serving across as Coach Felke's like, we've got to attack. St. Joe up two. Town with it. Town now to the net. The approach, the kill. Dug out, but it goes out of bounds. The kill attempt, she was there to get her own dig, but uh, a little too hard as it goes out of bounds. Good play that time, though, by Hannah Town. St. Joe up three. Grace just tips it over. Blocked that time. Madden attempted it. Blocked that time by Town and Sailors. And it'll go side out to the Zebras. Hannah Town back to serve for Rochester. Again, trailing by two. Game number two, Zebras up 1-0. South Bend with problems. It'll go out of bounds. It'll be a point, Zebras. Tough to handle that nice little knuckleball serve that Hannah Town has. 
Here's Hannah out of the middle. A little floater down the side. Tipped over. Nice job by Dalton. Sailors with the attempt. Saved by Libby that time. Hannah with the dig. Here's Libby on the attack. Blocked at the net. A good dig by St. Joe. Here's Riley. Riley's blocked. Hits it over. Sailors is there for the dig, but it goes out of bounds. Super was good work that time. Everybody moving their feet, but not able to get the point. And St. Joe goes back up two. And serving is Lukens. Lukens serve goes out of bounds. Zebra is now down three. Sailors on the attack. Dug out of there by St. Joe. Free ball across the net. Zebras need to take advantage. Here's Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer just floats it across. Here's, Char here's Sharpley. Sharpley coming off that side. She's dangerous. She gets the point for St. Joe. Zebra's down now 11 to 7. Town with the dig. Set. Pfeiffer. She's falling out of bounds and gets it as Lukens could not handle it. Two hits. So it'll be side out Zebras. It'll be good. Back to serve. Good with the serve. And a nice little fake that time by Topolsky. Topolsky gets the, the uh, actually she's going to set it, tips it over the net, gets the point. Zebras get a timeout. They're trailing 8 to 12 here. We'll be back after this. You're, listening, you're watching RTC TV. Back here at Meshawaka Marion after the Zebra timeout. Coach Felke trying to settle the Zebras down as they're down 12 to 8 here in this game number two. Zebras up one game to nothing over South Bend St. Joe in the semifinals. The winner of this will get Marion on Saturday at noon. After the timeout, here's Goodsey with the serve. Ace. Ace surfer there. Miscommunication that time on the Zebras. And Goodsey gets the ace. Goodsey to town. Gray sets up Riley. Riley with the attempt. Dug out in the back row by St. Joe. There's Grace to Riley again. Riley on the attack, and it'll be Pfeiffer in the nets. Side out, St. Joe. Trilling now. 14-8. A little floater just gets over the net. Maddie saves it. Grace on the attack. Here comes Sharpley again for St. Joe. That time dug out nicely by Dalton. And a town out of the back row. Dug out by St. Joe. Lukens from the back row. And it's saved. Nice job by Grace. Sharpley just tried to put it in front of her. Grace there to save it. And it goes out of bounds. Nice work that time by the Zebras staying focused. As they get the side out, Maddie Sinclair comes out, Bailey Abbott back in. So it's Grace, Riley, and Abbott along the front row. Jessica Dalton to serve. Tipped over to the net by Topolsky. Topolsky sets up Mayberry. Mayberry finds a hole in defense as two go up for the block and Mayberry able to adjust, puts it in the hole. Side out, St. Joe. Topolsky now back to serve. Miscommunications on the Zebras and it's hit into the net. Zebras down now 16-9 here in game number two.
Topolsky with a hard serve. Zebra's not able to handle it, and they go up 17-9. Topolsky's got that nice hard serve just over the net. Riley gets it that time. Grace to Town. Town from the back row, right between two defenders. Good work by the Hannah Town that time, finding the hole. And now Pfeiffer back to serve. Down seven here in game number two. Miscommunications on St. Joe Park that time as he was able to get a point back. Mishawaka Marion High School, semifinals, game number two here. Zebra's up, game one to nothing. Here's sharply down and sharply hit, and it goes back side out to the Zebras. Substitution for Rochester. Rochester will bring in Allie Bickle. Bickle will go to the back row. And serving will be Sharpley. Sharpley with that jump serve just over the middle. Grace to the Town. Town with a kill. And a Town with a good hit. And Libby will come right back in. She talks to Coach Felke and she's ready to go. She comes back into the front row. Grace Pfeiffer back to serve. Sharpley's from the back row. Dug by Riley. Grace sets up. Libby, Libby with a tip over. Here comes Lukens off the left side. Nice dig that time by Riley Pfeiffer. Zebras look just to get it over. And they do, and down goes Pinowski. Pigowski with a big hit from the right side. Two big hitters in Pinowski and Sharpley. Pinowski just a sophomore. as some substitutions for St. Joe. Vogler will come back in. Vogler will come in and serve. Vogler back to serve. St. Joe up. Seven points here in game number two. Net serve, nice job by Grace to pay attention and a hit and a kill by Hannah Town. Good work that time by Grace, good reaction that got the net. Abbott's back in, and Abbott, or excuse me, Dalton will sit down. Bailey Abbott, left-handed serve, right down in the middle. Here comes Sharpley on the right side this time, and over the top of Abbott's, side out to St. Joe. Sharpley will come out, and Costanley will come back to serve. 20 to 13, St. Joe up in game number two. The jump serve, handled by Dalton to town. Libby calls for it, gets it across the net. Mayberry blocked, or Madden. Madden blocked that time. And town will be back to serve, Zebra staying alive. And a town, a little floater knuckleball. Lucas over, tipped by Sailors, nice save. Grace is called for two hits. So we sign out, St. Joe. And the Zebras will take their final time out of this game. Trailing 21-14, semifinals right here. Mishawaka Marion, you're watching RTC TV. Back here at Mishawaka Marion High School. Zebras with their final time out of this contest. Trailing 21-14. Coach Felke trying to light the fire and get them back here in game two. After the timeout, it'll be South Penn St. Joe's serve. Serving will be number six, Lukens. 5-7 junior. Looking down St. Joe roster, only one senior. She hasn't even played yet. So very young team for St. Joe. Dalton hits it out of bounds, 22-14. Lukens with a jump serve, cross court. 
Town out of the back row and it hits it out of bounds. Twenty three fourteen Dalton with the dip and it'll be good under the net side out back to St. Joe so St. Joe keeps it. This will be game point. Game point here for St. Joe. Lukens with a knuckleball serve goes out of bounds. Zebra still alive. And Bickle will come back in. Allie Bickle, a 5'3 freshman, will come in for the Zebras to serve for Libby Good. There's Bickle with the serve. Just gets over the net. Off the face of a St. Joe player. Nice save by Dalton. Here's Riley Pfeiffer with the kill attack. And... Blocked that time by St. Joe. Pushed deep. Dalton got there. And that's going to do it. Two hits on the Zebras. And the Zebras fall in game number two, 25-15. As the Zebras fall in game two, so we're guaranteed here now to play four here tonight in the semifinals at Mishawaka Marion High School. The Zebras struggled that time. Uh, started out hot, got a big 4-0 uh, lead, and then they struggled. Uh, St. Joe come uh, come back, tied it up, and then the Zebras just not could not get back in any rhythm uh, to get things going back there. And again, they fall in game number two, 25-15 to St. Joe. So we're one apiece right now as we head into game number three. We'll be back with game number three. You're watching RTC TV. Back here at Mishawaka Marion High School as we get ready for game number three. It's one game apiece as the Zebras look to try to rally back here in game three and take a lead. Randy Wayne all here on RTC TV. Glad you could join us for the sectional action the semifinals. Again, the winner of this plays Saturday at noon against Mishawaka Marion in the championship game. So starting game number three, Zebras will be serving first. Serving for Rochester will be number 14, Riley Pfeiffer. Again, one of the two seniors. Pfeiffer with a little floater. Sharp lead. Comes out of that left side. That's her power side. And the Zebra's not able to handle it. And St. Joe gets the first point of this contest. Back to service, Topowski. Topowski with a little just over the net. Bailey gets it back across. Here's Sharpley on the right side. Excuse me, that's uh, Pikowski on the right side. Tipped by Rochester. Riley out of the backcourt. Gets it across. Pikowski over to Sharpley. Sharpley hits it. And saved by Bailey Abbott. Set up to Riley on the back row again. St. Joe handles it. And they try to get it across the net. And it doesn't go. Four hits. Point to the Zebras. And a substitution for Rochester. Libby Good comes back in. She'll take over the front row as Bickle will sit down. Grace Pfeiffer now to serve. 1 1. Lukens. Now sharply again, and it's blocked, and it goes out of bounds. Side out, St. Joe. So the Knights will go back to serve, and Shrapley sharply will serve. Hard serve to Town, she handles it. Here's Town from Piper. It's tipped. And the Zebras will get the side out. And Bailey Abbott will go back to serve. As Maddie Sailors comes in, Jessica Dalton will sound for a breather. Abbott with a left hand serve across. Tipped by St. Joe and Mayberry and Zebras couldn't get there soon enough. It'll be side out. St. Joe. Vogler will come in to serve for St. Joe. St. Joe up 3-2. Into the net. Net serve for St. Joe. Zebras will get it back as a Mayberry will come in for St. Joe and she'll sit out as Goodsey will come in. Out of bounds, zebra point. 
Good work that time by the Zebras. Town serving for Rochester. Now back up by one. Hannah's Town serve. Little floater just over the net. Handled by St. Joe. Here's Pukowski on the right side. Dug out by Dalton. Sailors with a hit. Good hit. St. Joe on the attack. Lukens just over the over the block. Attempt by Sailors and Riley Pfeiffer. And it's side out to St. Joe. Gastoni will come in to serve for St. Joe as Pukowski will sit down. Good hard serve to town. She handles it. Set up to Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer hits it out of bounds. So St. Joe now up by one. Serves on the net. This time by Hannah saves it. Here's Pfeiffer on the attack. Dug out by the backcourt. St. Joe, Lukens just over the top. Saved by Libby Good. Good work that time by the Zebras talking and covered in the hole. Lukens with a tip. Good's there. Here's Libby. Libby just tries to tip it over. No good. Nice block that time by Riley Pfeiffer. Looking to set up Pfeiffer in the middle. Blocked. Lukens with a block on Pfeiffer. Zebra's down two now, 6 4. Hard serve. Town handles it. Libby sets up good. Or excuse me, Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer with the help of the net gets it across, and St. Joe not able to get there. So side out, Zebras. Bickle will come in for Libby Good to serve. Allie Bickle back to serve for Rochester. Trailing by one. Serves up. Here comes Lukens on the attack for St. Joe. And Jessica Dalton not able to get there in time. Point for St. Joe. Cross court serve. A little knuckleball by Lukens. Pfeiffer with the tip over. Dug out by St. Joe. Here's Lukens from the back row. Stopped by Jessica. And Madden tries to hit it to the Zebras, but hits it out of bounds. So it'll be side out Zebras. Sailor sits down. Abbott comes in for the front row. Jessica Dalton now to serve. Dalton serves it into the net. Side out to St. Joe. Mental errors right now for the Zebras, killing them. St. Joe up two. Here comes Riley Pfeiffer on the attack, and that's good. Kill for Riley Pfeiffer. And Pfeiffer will go back to serve. Zebra's down one here in game number three. One game apiece. Just over the net. St. Joe on the attack. Tipped over the top of Abbott by Matt or Matt Mayberry. And it'll be side out. Coach Felke working. Telling these Zebras you've got to cover that. Trying to get him in the right position. Topolsky to serve. Which does to town. Here's Riley Pfeiffer out of the back row. Blocked at the net. But St. Joe not able to cover it. And it'll be side out to Zebras. Libby Good back into the contest for Bickle. Grace Pfeiffer to serve. Grace is served by Lukens. Save that time by Dalton. Nice move. Nice move on the part of Jessica Dalton that time. Everybody was on the left-hand side. She took it down the line, and St. Joe not able to get there. Zebras tie it back up. Short serve. Luke, or Goodsey just gets there. Tipped around by the Zebras. Not able to handle it. And I'll go back side out St. Joe. This game again, back and forth. Game number one was back and forth. Game number two was controlled by all by St. Joe. A hard hitting Chaprowski on the serve. Zebras with the save, getting it across on the free ball. There's Pikowski. Pikowski saved 
dug out by Riley Pfeiffer. Nice job by Riley. Lucas on the attack. Riley again with his dig. But the Zebra's not able to get it across. Good work in the back row by Riley Pfeiffer. Two big digs that time. Trying to keep the Zebras alive. Trailing by two. Riley with the dig. Here's Hannah Town out of the middle, and it's out. No touch. St. Joe gets the point. Back to serve. Still is sh sharply. Hannah Town on the attack. Blocked. Gets her own save. Zebras with the free ball across the net. Block, nice block by Hannah. Town, and they're just going to say it was not a block. It was hit into the net. Four hits, and we side out Zebras. Abbott back to serve. Lukens with the tip over the, over the block. Zebras save it, get it back across. Pikowski too far away. Top. Topolsky set her too far away from the net, couldn't quite get to it. And the Zebras get the points. Zebras still trail one here in game number three. Across the net. Lukens on the attack, and it's out of bounds. She tried to change her angle as she saw the block in front of her. She uh, was too close, and it goes out. Zebras tied up. That's... Abbott's serve goes long, and just like that, St. Joe back up in the lead by one. Vogler will come in, and she'll step back and serve for St. Joe. Jump serve to town. Maddie Sailors on the left side attack. Bukowski. And Dalton could not handle it. Goes out of bounds. Point to St. Joe. And a town on the attack. It's a good attempt that time by St. Joe, but uh, a good kill by town. And... It, Zebras is still trail by one. They've got it wrong on the scoreboard. I believe it should be 14-13 St. Joe. There they get it. That's 14-13 St. Joe. Hannah with a cross-court serve. St. Joe on the free ball. Town out of the back row. Good. One of the easier hits Hannah Town's had tonight. And effortlessly it just gets it across and finds the hole. Tied at 14 now. Town another knuckler across court. Sets Lukens up on the outside. She goes across. Nice job by Libby Good. Zebras not talking, running into each other. And they hit it out of bounds. And a substitution in Koslatny will come in to serve. A lot of single points. Nobody getting a big lead here in game number three. Ties and back and forth. One point, two points. Biggest lead. Zebras on the attack. Nice job. Dug out by St. Joe. Good dig that time by Grace. Libby Good, cross court attack. Dug out by St. Joe. Dalton, good dig. Here comes Town out of the back row with just a little dribbler and gets it across. St. Joe gets it back. Pfeiffer tried to tip it over, no good. Here comes Libby with the free ball. St. Joe on the attack, tipped over. Riley met at the net, but I think we're going to have a net call. Yes, we are. St. Joe in the net, side out Zebras. Zebras get a big break on that one. And Allie Bickle will come in for Libby Good and go back to serve. Big break that time for the Zebras. Trailing by two, Bickle serve. St. Joe now on the attack, hit into the net. Four hits, so the Zebras tie it back up. Or take the lead, actually, excuse me. 
My apologies, taking up the lead 16 15. Short serve by Bickle on the attack, St. Joe. Lukens. Dalton tries to dig it out, can't do it. Side out, St. Joe. Game number three, one game apiece for both St. Joe and Rochester. St. Joe served, dug by Dalton on the attack, Piper and side out, Zebras. Dalton now back to serve for the Zebras, leading by one. Dalton, a little floater. On the attack is Sharpley. Nice job that time by the Zebras. Dalton with a good dig on Sharpley. Here's Madden. Madden dug out by Town. Town on the attack. Topolsky. Over the, she's usually the setter. She's not used to getting one set to her. And she gets it across the net and we're tied. High ball game here is a short serve. Goodsey tries to just get it over the net, but can't do it. And it'll be side out Zebras. Riley Pfeiffer back to serve now for Rochester. On the attack, sharply. Bickle with a good serve, but or a good dig, but right into the back of Grace Pfeiffer, and it'll be side out now to St. Joe. Topolsky back to serve for St. Joe tied here in game number three. And it goes wide out of bounds, side out Zebras. Bickle will come out and Libby Good back in as Grace Pfeiffer will step back to serve for the Zebras leading by one. Set up sharply on the left side. Good dig that time by Riley. Libby on the attack. Sharply with the save. Lukens out of the back row. Saved by, tried to be saved by uh, Grace Pfeiffer, but not able to handle it. The Zebras will take a timeout. Game number three, one game apiece. We're not at 19 here. Game number three, Zebras trying to rally back and take the lead. So we'll see what happens when we come back after this Zebra timeout. You're watching RTC TV. Back here at... Mishawaka Marion High School after the Zebra timeout. Again, one game apiece for St. Joe and Rochester. Game number three. And serving will be sharply for St. Joe. Dug up by the Zebras. Here's Hannah Town on the attack. Kill for Hannah Town. Hannah, business on that one. And the Zebras get the side out. Up one. Abbott with the serve. Abbott's serve can be just barely handled by St. Joe. Riley out of the backcourt. Too good. Good with the attack. Here's Lukens. Lukens is tipped by Sailors. Good work that time by Maddie Sailors on the right side. Got the tip. And the Zebra's now up two. Abbott serves into the nets. And it'll be side out St. Joe and a substitution in Vogler. Vogler back to serve with the Zebra's up one. Vogler serving for St. Joe. Jump serve to town. Pfeiffer back to town. Town just long. Just long on that one. And we're knotted back at 21. Twenty-one twenty-one here in game number three. Vogler again on the serve. Town and Dalton kind of get in each other's way. And it's 22-21 now. 
St. Joe up by one in game three. Vogler jump serve to Pfeiffer to Grace. And the Zebras miscommunicate again. And it'll be point St. Joe and the Zebras want a timeout. St. Joe leading game number three, 21, or excuse me, 23 to 21. Zebras, the last two attempts, miscommunications, not talking with each other, cost them those two points. We'll see if they can bounce back from a two-point deficit in game three after this. You're watching RTZ TV. After the Zebra timeout, Zebras are done with timeouts. They've used both of theirs. Mission Walk, excuse me, Southbound St. Joe's not used a timeout yet. But they lead 23-21 here in game three with the serve. Here's Vogler to Pfeiffer, to Grace, to Town, and a kill. Attempt, nice job that time by St. Joe. Lukens with the attack. Here comes Town again, blocked. And they're going to say net violation, St. Joe, side out, Zebras. Zebras still working, staying alive. And the substitution as Madden Mayberry comes in and she'll go right out as Goodsy comes in to Libero. Town serve. Handled by Mishawaka. Town, excuse Maddie digs that one out. Here's Town out of the back row and she goes long. 24-22 now St. Joe. And uh, coming in to serve will be Kosowski. Serving game number two point, 24-22 Mishawaka, or St. Joe here at Mishawaka. Pardon me, I'll get it right. Hits the net, Riley can't handle it. And St. Joe wins game number three, 25-22. And they lead now two games to one here in the semifinals of the sectional. Zebras back and forth on that time, and then a couple uh, letdowns there towards the end of the middle mistakes. Cost the Zebras some back-to-back -back points, and they just could not recover as they lose that one. Now, again, like I say, 25-22. Find themselves down two games to one as we head into game number four. We'll have game four coming up after this break. You're watching RTC TV. Welcome back to Mishawaka Marion High School. Zebras find themselves in a little bit of trouble here as we head into game number four. Zebras trailing two to one as they lose that third game there, 25-22. Mishawaka Marion High School, glad you could join us here for the semifinal sectional action. The winner of this match will get Marion on Saturday at noon for the championship game. Game number four, as St. Joe will serve first. Serving for St. Joe will be number 10, Topolsky. Zebras need to win this one to stay alive, to push game five. As the referee says, we're all set and we'll get ready to go. Again, Topolsky to serve. St. Joe up two games to one. Game number four underway. Into the net. Good sign for the Zebras as they get the first point of the contest. Allie Bickle comes out. Libby Good comes in the front row. And Riley Pfeiffer will step back to serve. Pfeiffer back to serve for Rochester. Little floater over the middle. Here comes St. Joe on the attack. And that would be... Pekowski. We've got Pekowski and Sharpley on each of those corners, and Zebra's having problems handling them. Speaking of Sharpley, she's back to serve now for St. Joe. Pfeiffer handles it. There's Abbott on the attack, and it goes out. I thought maybe there was a tip, but the officials didn't call it. So it goes out of bounds, St. Joe point. Zebras, here's Pfeiffer to Town. Town with a great hit, but a great dig by Sharpley. Lukens with a hit and a block by Grace Pfeiffer and Hannah Town. So it'll be side out, Zebras.
Pfeiffer hits into the net. Grace Pfeiffer with a serving air into the net. They have side back out to St. Joe. And Vogler will come in and serve. St. Joe up 3-2. Nice dig by the Zebras. Here's Pfeiffer out of the back row. Good dig by Tobolsky. Lukens on the attack. Zebras can't handle it. Lukens has her body going to the right. She hits it back left, and Zebra's not able to handle that. Zebra's down two. As the serve goes long by Vogler, Zebra's get it back out on the side out. As Godsey comes in for St. Joe. Jessica Dalton sits down, and Maddie Sailors comes in. Abbott, the senior, with the serve, floater in the middle. Lucan's shot is blocked by Maddie Sailors and Hannah Town at Point Zebras. <laughs> Off that right side is Pinkowski. And it'll be side out, St. Joe. And substitution as Costoni will come in now for. St. Joe, Dalton in for the Zebras. Abbott sits down. Here's the attack for Town. Tipped at the net, can't be handled by St. Joe. Side out Zebras. Hannah Town, the server for the Lady Z's. Here they come, St. Joe on the attack. Lukens with a hit. Dalton sets up Town. Town with a, just a little tip over, handled by St. Joe. Lukens on the attack, and it's good. Right between Hannah Town and Jessica Dalton. Neither one of them both froze. Miscommunications there. Point to St. Joe. They're up one. Town out of the back row. Hits it wide. St. Joe goes up two. Randy Wynn, glad you could join us here at Mishawaka Mary for the sectional action. Say, almost saved by St. Joe. Nice work that time by Libby Good just to flip it over. And Allie Bickle, the freshman, come in to serve for the Zebras. Just gets it over the net. A good serve by Bickle. As Madden, Madden on the attack for St. Joe, gets it down beside out St. Joe. Serves up, handled by the Zebras. Here is Riley Pfeiffer on the attack. Good save that time by Kowalski. Town out of the back row, still alive by St. Joe. St. Joe on the back row, just a little Back and forth right now. Comes sharply, sharply blocked by the Pifers. Riley puts it down, good. Good work that time by the Pifers on the block by Sharply. Riley staying with it and puts it right back down. A stuff block for Riley Pfeiffer. There's Jessica Dalton serving for the Zebras. Sharply from the left side. Handled by the Zebras. And Abbott couldn't quite get back, get her feet back underneath her. She got the set. She got the dig, and then they set her right back. She couldn't get set. And it'll be side out St. Joe. Served by St. Joe's Toposki. Attacked by the Zebras, no good. Grace Pfeiffer sends it deep. Now gives St. Joe a chance to set up. Good save by Abbott. And Dalton goes long. St. Joe now with a three-point lead. Biggest of this game. Game number four, Zebras trail two to one. As Topolsky goes long, and it'll be side out Zebras. 
And Good will come back in for the front row for the Rochester. As Bickle will sit down and Riley Pfeiffer to serve. St. Joe on the attack. Attack is good by Mayberry. And it'll be side out St. Joe. Coach Funky wants a timeout. Trailing 11 to 8 here in game four. It's do or die for the Zebras in game four as they are trailing 2 to 1. You're watching Volleyball Sectional on RTC TV. Back here at Mishawaka Marion High School. Zebras trail 11 to 8 in game four and trail two games to one in the match. So after the Zebra time out, St. Joe will be serving. Sharply to serve. Jump serve right down the middle to Dalton. Here comes Town on the attack. Dug up by St. Joe. Bukowski block. Nope, they're going to say into the net. So it'll be four hits. It'll be side out. Zebras. Good in as Bickle sits down and Grace Pfeiffer will serve. St. Joe goes long on the attack. So it cuts down to a one point lead now for St. Joe. Zebras trying to work their way back. Pfeiffer with a good floating serve. Two hits called by the officials. So it'll be a tie ball game now as the Zebras battling back. Game number four. Pfeiffer with the serve. Lukens on the attack, hits it out of bounds. This hit by St. Joe. Coach O'Connell telling him to make the attack. Here comes the attack by Lukens. Lukens down the line. Dug by the Zebras. Town with the attack. Dug out. And they're going to call four hits again. And St. Joe wants a timeout. It's the Zebras take a two-point lead here in game number four, 13 to 11. Coach O'Connell not happy with her squad as she's going to talk to them and try to fire them back up. Zebra's trying to stay fired up as well, trailing two games to one. They need this one. Back with more on RTC TV. After the St. Joe timeout, Zebras still have the serve. And Grace Pfeiffer will be serving, leading 13 to 11. The attack by St. Joe, dug by Pfeiffer. Good dig. Grace saves it. And the Zebras just get it over the net. Almost a double hit. Not sure who got it as Pfeiffer and Dalton both swung at it. They just get it over the net. Point Zebras. And Grace gets that one into the net. Vogler will check in for St. Joe as they get the side out. Trailing 14-12. Zebras trying to hold on to this lead. And push game five. Vogler, good serve. There's Town out of the back row. St. Joe with the save. Pfeiffer to Abbott. Abbott goes long. She was kind of falling away from that one as she went to hit it, as you can see there, and just overcompensated and went long with it. Just gets it over to the Zebras on a free ball. Town in the middle. Good, good dig that time by St. Joe. Abbott not quite ready for that one as it comes back to her. Comes back across, and we're tied at 14. Vogler with a hard serve to Pfeiffer. Good tip over by Town. Sharply out of the back row. Had the Zebras on their feet. Riley Pfeiffer with the attempt, just not able to get there. 
St. Joe has the momentum swinging back their way now. Good save, that good hit by uh, a good kill that time by Hannah Town as the Zebras get the side out and Bailey Abbott back to serve. Tied once again in game four. Attack by St. Joe, just gets it over. Sailors with the save. St. Joe again on the attack. Right between two Zebras. Both Zebras on the attempt, but could not get to it. And it'll bring in Kuslini to serve for St. Joe with a one-point lead. Halfway through, the little over halfway through the match, through game four here. Town with a kill. She meant business by that one as Godsey took that one in the shoulder and knocked her down. Town back to serve now. Town with a knuckler. Lukens, good dig that time by Dalton. Free ball across. St. Joe with the little tip over the top of the block. And it goes side out to St. Joe with a one point lead. Zebra's on the move that time, could not get it. As you saw there, trying, I don't know if she, she was trying to bail or just get where she could hit it, not able to. Now, well, St. Joe with two point lead. Good slides under the net. St. Joe up three. We got a timeout. Coach Katie Felke wants her second timeout of the contest. Zebras trail by four, 20 to 16, and they trail two to one in the contest. They need to uh, get a little fire and get this one back under control as they trail here by four points. Again, game number four. We'll be back with more after this. You're watching RTC TV. Back here at Mishawaka High School, Zebras out of timeouts now. St. Joe's used one. Here's the serve by Lukens. Zebras handle it. Attacked by Pfeiffer. Zebras trail here by four, trying to get back into this contest. They need this game to stay alive. Pfeiffer down the middle. Out of the middle, down the line, and it's good. It'll be side out Zebras. Bickle comes in, and the Libby Good sits down. Bickle back to serve, trailing three points. Serve, here's the attack now by St. Joe. Blocked out of bounds. Side out, St. Joe. St. Joe four points away to advancing to the sectional championship game against Mishawaka Marion. Zebra's still trying to stay alive. Floater by Gudzi. Pfeiffer on the attack, good. Riley Pfeiffer finds that open hole. Keeping the Zebras alive. Abbott in, Maddie Saylor's out. Jessica Dalton back to serve. Good serve for the Zebras. Here's St. Joe on the attack, into the net. Points, Zebras. Now trailing only by two. Trailing two points this game, trailing two to one in the contest. Short serve, Riley Piper with a stuff block. Good kill that time. As a little bit over, over on the pass, and Riley right there to knock it down. Zebra's still trying to stay alive. Here's the Zebra's on the attack. Piper again, and we're not in the 21. St. Joe still has one timeout left in this contest if they need it. Zebras working their way back. They were down by four 
Now nodded back up. Here's the attack of St. Joe. Sharply blocked. Good save by Godzi. Pfeiffer are on the attack. Blocked. There's St. Joe. Tip. Abbott saves it. Zebra still alive. Get it across. Here's St. Joe on the attack and Sharply. Pfeiffer, or excuse me, Abbott. Abbott saves that one. Riley just tips it over for a free ball. St. Joe. Sharply. Dug out by Town. Sharply back over again. Teep goes Abbott with it. Sharply. Dalton good dig. Abbott. Trying to catch him off guard. Nobody wants to give in. A good battle here on this point. Riley Pfeiffer on the attack. Doug, and finally goes out. St. Joe's Lukens tried to go cross court, and she just hits it out of bounds. Good volley that time by the Zebras and St. Joe. St. Joe takes a timeout. The Zebras have battled back to take the lead 22-21. We'll be back. Both teams have used their timeouts. We'll be back with the final points after this. Timeout. You're watching RTC TV. Both teams are out of timeouts. Back at Meshawaka Marion High School. Zebras with a one point lead. Need this game to stay alive to push game five. Dalton to serve. Dalton a little floater. Dug out by St. Joe on the attack. Pfeiffer blocked. St. Joe on the attack, here's Sharpley. Going down the line, nice dug that time by Pipe Abbott and Riley with a kill. Riley Pfeiffer, several kills here in a row here in game number four. Zebra's back by two now. Sharply blocked. Point Zebras, 24-21. One more point for the Zebras to push game five. Dalton to serve. Good save that time by the Zebras. Abbott on the attack. Saved by St. Joe, they get it across. Pfeiffer tipped over, good! Zebras win game four, 25-21 on a comeback. Great comeback, they found themselves down four points. Late in the contest. Coach Falky calls the timeout, got them fired back up, and they get it. That game, 25-21, they win game number four to tie it up two games apiece. Captain's meeting now at, at center court to see who gets the uh, who gets the serve here in game number five. And looks like Zebras. We'll just stay where they're at. Zebras will have the serve. So when we come back, game number five, two games apiece for the rights to go to the championship game on Saturday. We'll be back with an exciting game number five. You're watching RTC TV. Back here at Mishawaka, Marion High School. Game number five, we go. Zebras win game one, 25-20. Lose game two, 15-25. Lose game three, 22-25. Pull out a come behind a victory in game four, 25-21. And here we are, ready for game number five. As I said before, at the end of the last game, game five now, the, the winner will go to the championship game. This is for all the marbles. Headed to the championship game against number one in Mishawaka Marion. Zebras won the coin toss for game five. So they chose to serve first. And Mishawaka Marion, here at Mishawaka Marion High School, St. Joe decided to stay on that same side. So Pfeiffer to serve first, game five. St. Joe on the attack, sharply down. 
We have two excellent hitters tonight, Sharpley and St. Joe and Hannah Town and the Zebras both battling back and forth. First point, game five goes to St. Joe. Here's Topolsky. Zebras on the attack, Town, Hannah. He was blinded. The official is blinded. He's going to replay it. All right. He, uh, he, he was running for his own life, and he turned his head, couldn't see if it was in or out, so we'll replay the point. Zebra's on the attack. Pfeiffer out of the back row. Handled by St. Joe. Attacked by Sharpley, and she gets it to fall. As now St. Joe up 2-0 here in game five. Into the net. Zebras will get the point, and it'll be side outs to Zebras. Bickle comes out. Good comes in, and Grace Pfeiffer back to serve. So Libby Good, Hannah Town, Bailey Abbott across the front line for the Zebras. Big hit by Sharpley off that right side. And she'll back to serve, leading 3-1. Zebras on the dig and attack in town. Block goes out of bounds, side out Zebras. Maddie Sailors comes in, Jessica Dalton sits down, Bailey Abba goes back to serve. 3-2, St. Joe, game five. Bailey's left hand serve just over the net. Good block that time by the Zebras. Lucan's on the attack, here comes Good. Good with a tip over. Dug out by St. Joe, free ball for the Zebras. Town attacks it. St. Joe tried the little tip over and just couldn't quite get it to the net as we're tied now at three. Abbott still serving. Randy Wayne, glad you could join us for sectional action as Abbott hits it into the net. Another service air from the Zebras and then it'll go back to St. Joe. Vogler in to surf for St. Joe. Vogler serve, handled by the Zebras, town on the attack. Block goes out of bounds. Side out back to the Zebras. Hannah Town back to serve. Goodsey comes in for Goodsey comes in for St. Joe as the Libero. Hannah's knuckle. Handled by St. Joe. Pikowski gets it across. Here's Zebras on the attack. Can't handle the back row attack by Hannah Town, and the Zebras are now up 5-4. Hannah Town with another cross court duckler. Lukens blocked. Bukowski got crossed. Here comes the Zebra attack on the back row again. Back row attacks a lot all, all of a sudden here. Nobody wants to attack the net. Here's Riley Pfeiffer with a kill. Nope, oh, good dig. Oh, he's going to call it. He's calling four hits. But they're going to... The head judge is going to check with the floor judge. See if he's got a block or if it was a hit. They'll discuss it. And we're gonna have a replay. The chair judge called it four. The four judge saw it as a block, and they still should have had another hit. And they blew the whistle, so we'll replay the point. Zebra's still up five four.
Anna Town with the serve for the Zebras. Lukens. On the attack. Good dug out by Jessica Dalton, but too far into the net, and, and Libby Good couldn't quite get there. 5-5 five, five. in game five. Zebras with a good attempt that time, but just couldn't quite get it over the net. Now trail by one. Goes steadily to serve. And that goes long. So side out to the Zebras. Bickle will come in to serve for the Zebras. Tied at six. Bickle with a good serve. Almost mishandled by St. Joe. Here, Zebras talk. Sailors is down. Gets back up. But with all the commotion, the Zebras... And I think Sailors might be hurt. As the side goes out to the point to the St. Joe, Sailors will come to the sideline, and Christina Hughes, Rochester trainer, will come check her out. Christina meets her. Meets her at the sideline. So she'll be checked out by Christina and Zoe Bixler. Comes in for her. Tough situation now for the sophomore Bixler as we're in game five. She's been setting all game. So we'll get a substitution there for her. Should be 7-6. As Coach Felke will try to set her lineup, we'll see. The good news is Sailors is walking. She comes to the second row of chairs now for the Zebras as Christina's still looking at her. Mishawaka Marion's host here as they have a trainer here as well getting some ice. So we'll hope, hope she just maybe sprained it. All right. So we are set now as the Knights lead by one here in game five. Lukens with the serve. Pie for the attack. Good. Partially blocked it, and St. Joe cannot do anything about it. And it'll go tied up and side out. Zebras, St. Joe, excuse me, Dalton back to serve for Rochester. Jessica Dalton, floater serve. It's an attack by Sharpley. Partially blocked, good dig by Dalton. Keep an attack, and it's good. Bailey Abbott snuck that one in on the line, and the Zebras take an 8-7 lead. Should be 8-7 Rochester, I believe. I think they put the point on the wrong side. We'll double check that. Sharply with a hit. Dump over by Grace Pfeiffer, and that's good. And it's 9-7 now, Rochester. Time out, St. Joe. St. Joe takes her first time out of the contest, trailing by two here in game five. Winner goes on to the championship game. You're all watching RTC TV. Back here at Mishawaka Marion High School. After the St. Joe timeout, Zebras will be serving. Maddie Sailors. On the bench now with ice wrapped around her ankle. So she is done for the remainder of this game. 9-7, Zebras lead. Jessica Dalton to serve for Rochester. A little dump over the top and good dig by Dalton. Dalton on the attack. Here comes St. Joe. Jessica with a huge dig that time. Pfeiffer finds the gap and gets the kill. 
Zebra's up three. Tried to dump over. Here comes Pfeiffer on the roll block. Good save by Town. Town out of the back row. Saved by St. Joe, but they have mishandled it. And the Zebras go up 11 to 7. Timeout, St. Joe. St. Joe takes a final timeout of the contest. 11 to 7. Rochester the lead and the serve. We'll be back with more of the game five. You're watching RTC TV. Back here at Mishawaka Marion High School. St. Joe out of timeouts. Zebra's up 11 to 7. Four points away. Set here on the attack sharply. Monster kill, but a huge dig by Bickle. Dalton across. Here comes Sharpley again. Dalton with a huge dig. Pfeiffer. Big dig by St. Joe. Sharpley again, just a little dump. Abbott's there. Town out of the back row gets the kill. 12 7. Dalton to serve. St. Joe on the attack. Town with the dig. Pfeiffer. Dump pass. Town attack into the net. 12-8 Zebras. God's even to serve. Pfeiffer on the attack. Can't be handled by Gudzi. And the Zebras get the point in the side out. Riley Pfeiffer back to serve. Thirteen to eight. Zebras up. Sharply with a monster kill. Down the line on a monster kill by Sharply. Keeping St. Joe's hopes alive. 13-9, Zebras. Back to serve is Toposki. Into the net. Substitution. Bickle out. Good in. 14-9, Zebras. Game match point to go to the championship game on Saturday. Grace Pye for the serve. Pagowski, good dig by Riley Pfeiffer. To town, the dump over. Dug by St. Joe. Grace with the save, the set to Riley. Pfeiffer out of the back row, hits it wide. Fourteen ten Zebras. Back to serve. Number 14, Sharpley. Game point number two, you could say, kind of like a tennis match. Zebra's on the verge of moving. Town with the kill, good! And the Zebras survive. 15-10 in game three. As the Zebras survive to advance to the sectional championship game. On Saturday, by winning in five sets, 25-20, 15-25, 22-25, 25-21, 15 25-21, 25-21, and 15-10 in game five, the Zebras will advance to take on number one in the state, Mishawaka Marion, on a Saturday at noon. Great game here by the Zebras, 28-6 now as they move on again. In a five here at Mishawaka Marion. That's going to do it. Again, the Zebras win it 25 20, 15 25, 22 25, 25 21, 15 10. 
They'll take on Mishawaka Marion at noon on a Saturday. Hope to have a big crowd here for the Lady Zebras. That's going to do it for Mishawaka Marion High School. I'm Randy Wynn. Thanks for watching RTC TV.